1,000 people were injured, many of them by shattered glass. Cameras throughout that area caught the views of that meteor as it streaked across the sky before exploding. Scientists say it was the size of a large bus, and here it is. It's really incredible to see. It was traveling at least 33,000 miles an hour, and I'm joining our chief meteorologist, Steve LaPointe, now in our weather center to talk more about really a remarkable event that's captured the imagination of everyone and the and the fear of those people in Russia oh, with, yeah, the, with the imagine? sound, with the sound and everything? Sure. thousands of buildings damaged. I mean, this is right. a really big for those who don't really understand what's it, what going on here. Hmm. What is a meteor, Steve? And, and do we have these big, large impacts very often? Right. Well, first, a meteor is actually the streak. The streak that you saw in the sky mm -hmm. is actually the meteor. The particle itself is called a meteoroid, or if it's really big, it's called mm -hmm. an asteroid. And this is a very small asteroid that obviously came in. Uh, vaporizing in the atmosphere and producing an immense pressure wave, which is what caused the uh, sound and also caused the damage. And in fact, they're not as infrequent as you may think. According to scientists at MIT, um, strikes like this happen of this magnitude every couple of years, but typically hit rural areas. When you think about how much available land there is across the planet for these things to come in, um, there's a lot of spots where they can hit and go unnoticed. Kind of like a tornado. We get about a thousand of those a year in the United States, and very rarely do we hear of one hitting a major uh, metropolitan area. It's because they're so small versus how much land that is available. And it's really kind of the same thing here, even though you know they don't happen as frequently, obviously, as tornadoes. But it's really every couple of years, according to MIT, that you get something the size of that that we saw in the video hitting the planet. And I'm thinking the, it gets the attention because you're in a you're in an urban area and you can have a cell phone cameras that are oh, sure. or cameras that are going to capture it. Right. But now we also had this this sort of coincidental I think event going on where that asteroid flew by Earth today and it was That's supposed right. to be 17,000 miles away which is very close. Closest uh, approach. Yeah, mm -hmm. came in within the orbit of a lot of our satellites in fact it came by so close. And the consensus in the scientific community is what happened in Russia and that close pass, and we're seeing some pictures of that, very much coincidental. The Earth travels about a million miles in a 24-hour period, and the Russian strike was about 24 hours ago uh, compared to the pass of that asteroid close to the Earth. Also, the Russian strike in the Northern Hemisphere, and this asteroid was actually aiming more at the South Polar, passing hmm. south of the planet. So these two objects were in very different places, so that's why the general consensus is that this just happens to be quite a coincidence. Wow. And and when you're talking meteoro meteoroids right. and asteroids, right. size matters. Size matters. Meteoroids, teeny tiny, the size of dust or pebbles, uh, about a million of those strike the outer atmosphere in a day. When we have meteor showers, there's a great concentration. We get huh. the streaks of light. Um, asteroids, obviously, much larger. They're typically named uh, as scientists discover them, and they're tracked, obviously, given the potential impacts they can have. Well, I'll tell you what. When you want that information, you go to the man who has meteor right That's in right. his title. <laughs> <laughs> it's and we did. There, right. <laughs> Chair?